Mega Trick Trivia Time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's Mega Trick Trivia Time. And we'll feel it all. All right, hello, good evening, happy Wednesday, everybody. My name is Ali with Bega Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am here with Taco. Gina is joining us shortly. Uh, I want to take this moment to remind you that we will be playing trivia tonight, and in order to participate, you need to join the online game. Sorry for the brief delay there. I saw somebody mention that the input boxes were wrong, so I tried to change that really quick. Um, I'll tell you what that means here in just a second. So if you want to play trivia, in addition to being here on YouTube, you need to join the online game. It's very simple to do. Just open up any internet browser and go to online.bagoftricks.com. It's going to ask you for a game code. You're going to put in the code TRICKS2. TRICKS2. Once you've done that, it will ask you, uh, well, it should have asked you for just two pieces of information, uh, like, well, I guess three like this. Let's try this. Sorry, we had some last minute changes. Uh, this is what it should look like. So the first blank you'd fill out is your name, your team name, nickname, whatever you want to go by during the game tonight. The second would be the state that you're playing from if you're in the United States. And the last one here would be your Begatrix loyalty number if you have one. If you don't, there should be a link in the description of this video to sign up. That's a free program that you do want to be a part of because when you play trivia with us, we award prizes in the form of taco bucks and if you win taco bucks you can then use them redeem them in the future for items like Tricks merchandise beer and brewery merchandise pop culture merchandise and of course the framed and autographed photo of taco you can see right there in the middle uh so lots of fun going on again if you're not a member of the loyalty program yet you can join for free there's a link online um if you are and you didn't have that blank when you registered earlier so if you didn't see the blank over here that said loyalty number that's okay if you finish in first second or third i'll grab that from you later uh so with all of that said let me pop this off the screen there's taco oh hello cadmus uh welcome once again thanks for being here uh it's an interesting wednesday we're really happy that you're here we are just three there's a credit three days away from halloween uh so happy early halloween my friends we do have more trivia coming up this week on friday night we have horror movie trivia, horror films trivia. That's a fun one for all you scary film fanatics. But tonight we are also doing some Halloween trivia. So tonight's not too scary. Um, it's just more related to Halloween and all the associated fun stuff to do with that. So it's still general knowledge trivia. We have a mix of multiple choice questions and text questions that you'll answer in a little bit. Uh, but everything tonight with a Halloween theme to it. So thank you for being here. Uh, tonight's game is free to play, but if you feel so inclined, if you would like to, you are more than welcome to donate or tip online. These links will be here all night. Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle. We really appreciate it. I see some of you already have, so thank you so much for those donations. Uh, those donations that you send allow us to continue to do these online trivia games. Uh, we want to keep them free for you. We want to do as many as possible, uh, but we do have to pay for the platforms that we use. So those donations, those tips that you guys send online are what allow us to do this. So we really do appreciate it. Uh, again, if you've already sent those in the past, thank you so much. Um, if you send it tonight, thank you so much. This cat costume is hot. Um, all right, so we are going to get into the game here in just a second. I'll remind you one last time down at the bottom of the screen here. If you haven't already joined online.bagoftricks.com, enter in the code TRICKS2. 
online.vegatrix.com. Enter in the code TRICKS2. Once you've done that, enter in that information, and you'll be all set to go. We're going to get the game started here in just a couple minutes. Try and get this makeshift taco cam back where it goes. Still haven't found my tripod. That's weird. I know. All right, I'll come up here now. So if you haven't played trivia with us before, I'm going to tell you how it works. It's not very complicated. Uh, we're going to have a mixture, like I said, of multiple choice questions and questions where you actually have to type an answer in. We're going to start out with multiple choice, which means the first questions that you encounter tonight, uh, I will ask you the question, and then I'll start the timer, which will be a 25-second timer. Every single question has a 25-second timer. So I'll ask you the question. You'll see it on your screen. You won't see the options to answer pop up until I start your timer. And once I do, all you have to do is click on the answer that you think is right. It's always going to be either A, B, C, or D. One of them is correct. You just have to click the correct answer. If you get it right, you earn up to 150 points based on how quickly you answered. So make sure you're answering as quickly as you can if you know the answer, because as the timer ticks down, so does the point value. Um, that will change later on, but for the multiple choice round, it's gonna work like that the whole time. Uh, if this is your first time playing, and we do have a lot of people here tonight, um, it looks like mm -hmm. about 40 people. Um, so thank you all for being here tonight. We really appreciate it. If this happens to be your first time, you are in luck because the very first question that you'll see is a practice question. And what that means is that it's not worth any points. It is just here for people like you who haven't played before so that you can see what the questions look like before we actually get into the ones that are worth something. Um, so other than that, we're going to get this started. Uh, let me say some hellos out here. Who's with us? Hey, Stephanie, what's up? Jess, Angelica, hello. Jen Widener, welcome. Kim, Matt, John, Charles, Michelle Corn, evening. Hey, Lindsay Davis, Jen Sterna, and Jen's husband Sterna telling me my email address starting to use. I turned that off. Uh, hopefully you got in now, Jess. Uh, hey, Miss LaRocca, Jeremy, Mr. Rice Krispie, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Kimberly, Becky, Steph, John, H. My costume did scare Taco at first. Shirtless Dave is oh. with you tonight. Bye. And he's wearing a shirt, formal night. <laughs> what the heck? What's a shirted Dave? Uh... Oh, yeah, so Jess and John will be there Friday. It won't be too bad. Uh, I'll try to make the gifts not too scary. Don't you worry. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Hello, fellow kids. What's up, Rich? <laughs> Hello, fellow kids. All right, that is it. Um, how do you do, fellow kids? How do you do, fellow that kids? That sounds like, um, like someone like trying to like sneak into a party. It was, like, um, there's a gif. Um, what's his name? The, not Rob Schneider, the weird-looking guy. The other weird looking guy from uh, Boardwalk Empire. Somebody's going to say it. 30 Rock. Huh? She says 30 Rock. Oh. Who? Stevie Summy? Yeah, wasn't it him? I don't remember anything. You're asking the wrong gal. Yeah, it's Stevie Shemmy. How do you do, fellow kids? All right, anyway, here we go. First question up on the screen. So, this is what it looks like. What is the name of your host today? You don't see the answers because I haven't started the timer. But once I start the timer, you want to click the correct answer as quickly as you can. No points tonight um, for this first question. So don't worry if you're wrong. Just get the feel for the system. What is the name of your host today? That's me. What's my name? Is it Freddie, Michael, Jason, or Ali? What is the name of your host today? Freddie, Michael, Jason, or Ali? Steve Buscemi. Yes, Becky. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it always says there are points, but it won't count for points. Um, I double checked that that's this practice question's on. Thank you for checking, though, Lindsay. Huh? No, I'll drink it. Yeah, leave me that. I'll drink that one, dude. Really? Yeah, seriously. I got you. I got nine lives to drink for. <laughs> Uh, let's see what everybody said. Uh, five people each. Good job. You coordinated this. Said Freddie, Michael, and Jason. Uh, 28 people correctly said... Where is my cursor? Maybe. Uh, Ali is my name, in case you were wondering. Good job, everybody. Cheers. We're off to a great start. Oh, the rest of them got five answers each. Yeah, five each. So now these questions will start counting for points. 
uh, a max of 150 points. Here we go. Question number two. The song Don't Fear the Reaper was a 1976 hit for what band? Was it Styx, Uriah Heep, Deep Purple, or Blue Oyster Cult? Hey, thank you, Jeff, for the donation. Thanks, Rich, for the donation, too. Thank you both. We really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy early Halloween. Shout out to Bobby K and his mouth cowbells. Yes, Bobby K's got the best mouth cowbells. Thank you for enjoying that joke, Chris. I'll be Steve Buscemi if we're still in formal mode here. Oh, Steven Buscemi. Sorry, sorry. All right, everybody's in. Uh, this is going to be a social. Two people said sticks. One person said your eye heap. The correct answer was blue oyster cult. Cheers, everybody. All right, question number three. Between 1692 and 1693, more than 200 people were accused of witchcraft during trials in what Massachusetts town? Was it Salem, Cambridge, Amherst, or Boston? Bouncing on phone? Hmm. I'm not sure, Dwayne. That sounds really annoying. Yeah, that sounds extremely annoying. I don't know the other answer, Jess. Can there be a hocus pocus question on Friday? I think there is a hocus pocus question on Friday. There's there's definitely hocus pocus gifts on Friday. Uh, this is a double social. Actually, we'll call it a double double toil and trouble triple Aww, social. Cute. Every single person got it. That's Salem, Massachusetts. Salem witch trials. Cheers, everybody. All right, question number four. Uh, I just asked this recently, but I wanted to do it again. See who remembers. From what country does the practice of decorating jack-o'-lanterns originate? From what country does the practice of creating jack-o'-lanterns originate? Is it the United, uh, United States, England, Scotland, or Ireland? Hey, Olivia, what's up? Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Ollie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think I asked this on Monday. Or I asked it last Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> Everybody's in. One person said United States. Two people said England. Twelve people said Scotland and 31 people said Ireland. 31 people were correct. Great job, 67% of you. So close. A little Ben in the, the photo here, the gif here. Did his head fall off right after this? <laughs> like talking and they're looking. <laughs> Question number five. Uh, Halloween writer director John Carpenter named the character of Dr. Loomis after a character in what other classic horror film? which starred Jamie Lee Curtis's mother. Was it Vertigo, Psycho, Marnie, or Notorious? Cool way to word this question, and we should also watch this movie. Yes, I agree. Carving my jack-o'-lantern potato tonight. Nice, John, nice throwback. Turn it, truck. Same guy that does lore. I don't know. The podcast, Jen? Slash TV show now? Uh, everybody's in. Seven people said Vertigo. Four people said Marnie. Nobody said Notorious. Great documentary um, about Conor McGregor. Uh, but 36 people said Psycho, and that is the correct answer. Psycho. Uh, that's question five. Let's take a look at the standings. Currently in first, cream and asparagus something? Ampersand. Oh, cream ampersand spelled asparagus. out and, and spelled right, sugar. 
Uh, cookies and cream in second. This number two shall pass. Welcome back. It's over, Bananakin. Uh, the Dream Bean. <laughs> I like that. Uh, black cats are good luck. Love it. Is today National Black Cat Day or was that yesterday? Today or yesterday? I saw a couple of posts. Oh, no. Sorella Sand. I'm a thaw me out. <laughs> Foolish mortals. Hey, Mad Dad. There's a name I haven't seen in a while. What's up, my dude? Yeah. Welcome back, Mad Dad. Miss Laraka in 12th place right now. Scrimshanker up there. A poo poo and a pee pee. Geralt of Trivia, not swear wolves. Wait. Were you. J we just watched. Uh, that's. What, what, we do in the what we do in the shadows. We're werewolves, not swear wolves. <laughs> uh, I know more about wind than you do, Lindsay. Just Jess. Zero's got nothing on Taco. Welcome back, Steph's dog team names. Rich H55, eat <coughs> lightning crap thunder. Bless you. Nothing clever, just freaking vote. OMG, I love it. Cornhole Leo, numero uno. <laughs> oh, these team names are fantastic. Hey, Olivia, with eight exclamation points. Jen Widener, penis cuddling. Welcome back. Without the asterisk, I love it. Jeff D, may I see your manager? Right next to each other, Sambuca and Salsa. Still hesitant to try that combination. What's up, Hacera? Delmar. All right. Lots of awesome people out here tonight. Thank you all for being here. Here we go. Question number six. In July of this year, M&M's announced what brand new flavor for the 2020 holiday season. They have a whole bunch of flavors now. What flavor did they announce would be coming out for the 2020 holiday season? Is it cranberry, eggnog, sugar cookie, or gingerbread? Ooh, I didn't know this, but I'll use any of those. Mm -hmm. uh, Dwayne, I'll, I'll combine your points later. I'll add them on in a little bit. I saw that. You have two teams on there. Um, so I will combine those, that extra 124 points there, just a little bit. All right, everybody is in. Disappointed dreams is an option. Yeah, we made the mistake this year. Um, please combine our points with Dwayne's too. You got it. Uh, we just bought all of our Halloween candy, and I think last year we were smarter about about it, and we bought bags of candy that we didn't particularly care for, like not our favorites. Mm -hmm. But this year we loaded up. We got two big bags, and it's like all of our favorites, which is an issue. Because I don't know if I'm actually going to pass it out. Yeah, I've already uh, started. <laughs> yeah, the bags are already open. They're open. Uh, 19 you people said eggnog. Oh, yeah, probably not. 11 people said sugar cookie. 15 people said gingerbread. Uh, and this is our first upset social of the evening. It is sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. So that's a drink for being wrong. Did you see you can really say his comment? Uh. I get it now as soon as best Danny to be. <laughs> exactly. He was just tucking in his shirt, just tucking in his uh, M M outfit. <laughs> I'm out. Too high for you. 426, 428. Sold. 428 taco bucks coming away from Lindsay. All right, here we go. Question number seven in Mary Shelley's 1818 novel Frankenstein. There's also a subtitle. I don't remember. Uh, what was the first name of Dr. Frankenstein? Was it Daniel, Michael, Victor, or James? Modern Prometheus, that was it, right? Modern Prometheus. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm happy I remembered that. First name, Mr. Stay. Every time Gina moves, this is Taco. All right, everybody's in. Frankenstein. Uh, nope. Oh, wow! It's a double social. Everybody got it. Victor. Victor. Cheers, everybody. That's a double social. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
All right, question number eight. Uh, scheduled for release in October of 2021, the 12th film in the franchise, the Halloween franchise, is titled Halloween what? 12th film in the Halloween franchise scheduled for release next year is titled Halloween what? Is it Halloween night, Halloween kills, Halloween begins, or Halloween dies? To the victor goes the Frankenstein. Nice, nice, nice. Halloween Blank is a terrible movie title. I don't know. Eventually, I think they're just going to go with it. What are you doing? I'm oh. Lay down. Bear. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, if you want down, let's go down. Here you go. All right. Uh, five people said night. 14 people said begins. Seven people said dies. 21 people said kills. The correct answer is Halloween kills. It seems redundant at this point to name it Halloween kills. Um, I think that's been going on for a minute. It's a choose your own adventure. 12 of these. Yes, yes, yes. 12 of these. The dashes are not a clue. No, no, no. Halloween, the new batch. Nice, Jen. I went with begins. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying here. Yeah, it wasn't... I, I, It wasn't supposed to be like a fill-in-the-blank. It was just supposed to be a blank, but I couldn't make a single line. Um, so I apologize if you tried to fill in the actual blanks. Uh, but whoops. Joke's on you. Ha-ha. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Question nine. Since... 2000 there have been more than 300 limited edition seasonal and regional flavors of Kit Kat chocolate bars produced in Japan which of these is not an actual flavor of Kit Kat that was released in the last 20 years in Japan which of these is not an actual one is it Hokkaido melon, Tokyo tomato, Okinawa sweet potato, or Yokohama cheesecake. What? God, I hope it's sweet. Ooh, Jen Starna. Got my back. Thanks, Jen. Chocolate. Here we go. I could go for a Kit Kat. Did we get Kit Kats in that bag? There's something. <laughs> I wish there were 301 choices here. Becky, so I think I could. I think they updated the system that I can do as many options as I want. So maybe we'll do it again. And I'll add another one that's not real and give you the 300 real ones. All right, here we go. Everybody's in. One person said Hokkaido melon. Five people said Okinawa sweet potato. 14 people said Yokohama cheesecake. Oh, hello. 25 people hello, said Tokyo tomato and 25 people were correct. Tokyo tomato, thankfully, not a real flavor. It's not a real flavor. Okay. You'd eat it anyway, I know. Uh, great job. Question number 10. I would F up a sweet potato Kit Kat too. Yeah, I'm right there yeah, with you. Or cheesecake one. Or cheesecake. And I would eat all of those m and flavors. Yeah, literally, if it's a, che if it's a Kit Kat, I'm going to eat it. They do have some really weird, um, so hold on, hold on. Yeah, welcome to Bega Tricks trivia time, everybody. Hang on one second. I want to find, so that, I mean, I guess it's not that weird. Green tea, Kit Kats, Ooh. strawberry cheesecake, pumpkin pudding, Kit Kat, baked sweet potato, as we just learned, pumpkin apple, pudding? purple sweet potato. Kit Kat, rum raisin, Kit Kats. Oh, here you go. Wasabi Kit Kats. That's, they're not spicy, but they do manage to retain some subtle notes of wasabi. Red pepper, Kit Kats. Citrus Kit Kats. Sweet bean jelly Kit Kats. Raspberry Kit Kats. Those are just 14 of the 300. So, well, you know, got to learn something new. Speaking of flavors, now we're talking about jelly belly beans. Which of these is not an official jelly bean, jelly belly bean flavor? 
which of these is not an official Jelly Belly bean flavor? Is it? Toasted marshmallow, sizzling bacon, margarita, or buttered popcorn? John reports he's had a wasabi Kit Kat, and it was good. I believe it. I would try a wasabi Kit Kat. Pufferfish Kit Kat. Janessa, my cousin lives in Japan and brought home... Oh, green tea wasn't bad. You green can get green tea, tea in the U.S. Okay. Welcome to Bega Tricks Trivia Time, where the fearless leader goes down one rabbit hole after another, and we all just watch. Yeah, that sounds right. At least you missed the rabbit hole before this. Which one was that? That coronary. Artery. Oh God! Don't get me started. Sarah and John said the same thing at the same time, which I love. What's that? About the purple yam. Oh, I believe it. Uh, everybody's in. Eleven people said margarita. Three people said toasted marshmallow, which surprises me. I'm not a Jelly Belly fan, but I feel like I always end up with toasted marshmallow, and then that's why I'm not a Jelly Belly fan. Um, the correct answer is sizzling bacon. Uh, if it's, I, I'm sure there are other jelly bean manufacturers who have done one. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, Jelly Belly has not done sizzling bacon yeah, yet. Fun little story. Uh, you know how you go to the Jelly Belly factory and you can buy the Jelly the Belly Flops? So, oh, it's like the messed up ones? Yeah, you okay. can buy bags of Belly Flops, which are reject jelly beans and they're cheap, whatever. And I bought a bag once and I had this really long, weird shaped jelly bean and I bit into it and it was... Uh, like candy-covered wood chip. So that they shouldn't probably be allowed to sell that as <laughs> as a belly flop. But I mean, it could happen to anybody. Like I still, I'm not against Jelly Belly. Yeah. It's just so funny. That's it's so weird. horrible. But I like jelly beans. Except wood chip flavor. <laughs> Rich said better or worse. <laughs> uh, Chris, just don't burn your foot. Don't burn your foot, Chris. All right. Question number eleven. Final multiple choice question. Uh, one more. Which of these is not true? Which of these is not a line in Stevie Wonder's Superstition? If you were just doing music bingo with Bobby K, you have a hand up here because this is the last song he played, I believe. Uh, which of the following is not an actual line you would hear Stevie Wonder sing in Superstition? Ready? Is it? Seven years of bad luck. Ladder's about to fall. 13-month-old baby or mirrors on the wall. This is a fun little Halloween trivia. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Taco, quit being so mobile. Ooh. All right, everybody's in. Okay, we're all over the place here. Four people said seven years of bad luck. 17 people, ladder's about to fall. 16 people, 13-month-old baby. 10 mirrors on the wall. Uh, so I was just double-checking here. Yeah, so the correct answer, which of these is not a line, it is mirrors on the wall. Mirrors on the wall. The line is writings on the wall. Very superstitious writings on the wall. Ladder's about to fall. Broke the looking glass. Seven years of bad luck. Thirteen month old baby. Yes. Writings on the wall. All right, that's it for multiple choice questions. So let's take a look once again at the standings. Currently in first, black cats are good luck. In second, the dream bean. This number two shall pass is in third. Take a look, see where everybody else is. See where you're at. Uh, Sarah, I just saw this back there. You were talking about Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. The the trick jelly beans from Harry Potter. That's Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. Yo, Gina answered. Yeah, good job, Gina. We've been playing through Harry Potter. The deck building game. Yeah. Wash your face and hands. What is it? chair no these are real jelly beans not just in a book uh i mean they 
They make them. They make birdie bots in real life. They were produced. Yeah, they yes. were produced, Sarah. And they have, like, the earwax. Yeah, they, and they're, they're not as bad as I'm sure they were in the books meant to be. But, uh, yeah, they have earwax. They have vomit. They have pepper. Uh, all sorts of bad flavor ones. They made them from Harry Potter. I used to give them out at Harry Potter trivia nights when we I used to do in person trivia. I just don't know why you never eat them. I don't know. You know, if you like a surprise. All right. Everybody's in, so we're going to switch things up. We are no longer doing multiple choice questions. We are going to ask you a question and you have to type the answer in. So, what that means, you still have a 25 second timer to answer, but once I start your timer, Rather than seeing four options appear on the screen as A, B, C, and D, you'll see a text box and you have to type your answer in. That's the main difference. There's also a slight change to the scoring in that these questions are worth more points. The next round is worth 250 points for each question and you get all 250 points if you're correct and you get nothing if you're wrong. So uh, even if you're not sure, take a guess. You're not losing points, uh, but you don't have to rush to get your answer in. You can take your time to type. Uh, you're not losing points as the timer goes down, but don't cheat, don't Google, don't look anything up, keep it fair, so we're all having fun here. Um, this next round is a mini bonus round, which means all five questions come from the same category. And if you couldn't guess tonight, the first mini bonus round is all about scary movies, but don't worry, no scary pictures. Uh, I'm going to give you the name of a horror film villain, a bad person, from a horror or scary film or series, all you have to do is name the film that gave us that character, right? Uh, some of these may be series of films. Um, so if it's a series of films, then you could just name any of them and you're gonna get points. Uh, but some of them might just be from one film. So here we go. Name, oops. Click the wrong button here. All right. Name the movie or series that gave us this villain, Norman Bates. What film or series gave us Norman Bates? Yeah, this is as scary as the gifts we'll get for this round. It's just Kermit looking like as scared as some people may be if I had done scary ones. Bean Boozled. That's the other one. That's probably what you were talking about. Bean Boozled is basically a ripoff of Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans, but it's a game. Oh. Yeah, Bean Boozled. I remember that. Yeah, Sarah, Bean Boozled. I'm with you. Um, all right. I think everybody got this. Nobody missed it. Yeah. Uh, so that's a double social. Norman Bates is from Psycho. Norman Bates, Psycho. Okay. Wow, what a quick refill. Wow, ah, quick refill. Thank you. All right, everybody's in. Question next one, 13. Name the horror film or series that gave us this villain, Stripe. What horror film or series gave us the villain named Stripe? Scrambled eggs with Cholula as a jelly bean. Trivia comes back around. Yeah, Steph, you got it. Everybody's in. Mm -hmm. Is this a trick question? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not a trick question because either answer that you're thinking of is probably going to work here. Let me just do this. All right, everybody's in. Let's see what we thought. Correct answer is Gremlins or Gremlins to the new batch. He appeared in both. 
Gremlins or Gremlins to the new batch. Uh, as long as you put Gremlins, you got points here. Stripe. Fun little guy. Fun little guy. All right. Yeah, harken back to one of our first trivia nights. You were being a snot. You finally got it. Yes, some of you guessed it as a joke, and you got it. Yes, as Yay. Stephanie said, trivia comes back around. All you had to do was just give me that sarcastic answer for seven months, and eventually it paid yeah. off. You just stick with it. Consistent. Oh, God. Question number 14. Name the horror film or series that gave us the villain Reverend Henry Kane. What film would you find Ooh. Reverend Henry Is Kane? Mm -mm. <laughs> you know which one I was most. I know what you meant. Yeah, I know what you meant. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> uh, new game. I do charades to all the horrible <laughs> yeah. All right, we were just talking about this one earlier. Yeah, I'm not being really specific with sequels. As long as you give me the name of the main series here. It's not Children of the Corn. It's not The Exorcist. It is Poltergeist. Oh. Poltergeist. Yes, Poltergeist. I was actually going to Exorcist. Oh, I know. I could, I could hear it. Question 15. Name the horror film or series that gave us the villain Annie Wilkes. Oh, yeah. What horror film or series gave us the villain Annie Wilkes? This one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you still love me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more because of these charades. It's fantastic. <laughs> Children off the corn. <laughs> Children off the cob. All right, everybody's in. It's not Carrie. It's not Coraline, it's not Dr. Jekyll, it's not Children of the Corn, it is Stephen King, it is Misery. Misery. Uh, question 16, final one in this round. Name the horror film or the series that gave us this villain, villain named Ghostface. What horror film or series gave us the villain named Ghostface? Yeah, Wu-Tang Forever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they ripped it off. Uh, the correct answer, Leonard Part 6, Saw, uh, Hellraiser. No, it is, in fact, Scream. Scream, inspired by that painting, Ghostface. Yeah. The Edward Mook painting. All right. Uh, actually. Yeah, yeah, whoops. Whoops. All right. Uh, that's it for this round. So let's take a look at the standings. Black Cats. Our good luck is still in first. Zero's got nothing on Taco. Is now up into second. Nothing clever. Just freaking vote. OMG is in third. Everybody else, take a second. Take a look. See where you're at. Oh, you got to clean those eyes. how angry Taco is. He fell asleep in my hand. Taco's up for grabs of the All right. We're going to switch things up. The next round is still a mini bonus round, but it is now a picture round. And um, if anything's going to get scary tonight, it's going to be this round. Uh, and I still tried to make this as not scary as possible, but this is our picture round, and it is Halloween. So we are going to do Name the Movie from this screenshot. So I kept it to screenshots, no gifts. I'm not trying to really scare y'all. Uh, all I'm gonna do is show you one single image from a movie and you have to tell me what movie we are looking at. Uh, like I mentioned, most of these I don't think are, are actually scary. So don't be scared by the pictures, but um, 
if scary movies aren't your thing, this is gonna be tough. Uh, but you know, it's Halloween. This happens once a year. Isn't that a Halloween song? <laughs> it happens once a year. That's probably Christmas. Probably Christmas. Yeah, it sounds more like Christmas. Uh, anyway, here we go. Aww. Name the movie. Some of these are easy, but some of these are tough. I'll tell you. I just got like my. We were all talking about Scream, and my like heart is like my blood pressure is elevated. What's your favorite scary Stop. movie? No. <laughs> Everyone needs an F one Oh, yeah, that's fair. Uh, this isn't going to help, though. Number 17, name the horror film from this screenshot. What horror film are we looking at here? Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? What else does he say? Um, I don't know. Oh, do you like scary movies? would be like, yeah, you know, I do. You want to come over and watch it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm all alone. Come on over. Oh, God, remember Matthew Lillard in that? Oh, man. Yeah, that's what you said. I just like him. <laughs> I fucking love Matthew love Lillard. I love Skeet. Oh, Skeet. You hit me with a phone, dick. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's really been 20 years since I've seen Skeet. We should watch it. No. Oh, you don't like those. I'll watch that. I know you're not in the chat, but... Oh, a to that's when it got scary. I just, I was looking up quotes from it, and uh, they're talking, 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 and it seems just like a prank call. Like, you hang up on me again, and I'll gut you like a fish. Yeah. Oh. That's when it gets bad, yeah. Okay, and Stephanie yeah. Curtis just brought up, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, 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 it's bad. Oh, my God, I, oh, I need to... Uh, I know, Lindsay Davis is guest here. Uh, this is not the Little Mermaid 2 Return no, to the Sea. This is the, this is the Exorcist. Cheers, everybody. That's the social. Uh, question 18. Name the horror film from this screenshot. What horror film are we looking at? A little bit of an older one here. This is a good movie. I like this. This one doesn't scare me. Just chilling, killing. Oh, I, I don't think I've seen this one. But this is in my genre of movies that I can watch. Yeah. You should, we should watch it. We have a lot of movies for Halloween. Yes, to an Efron palate cleanser and muted. Yeah. We do have a lot of movies for Oh, my parents are going to be so mad at me. That's what Oh, God, yeah. Uh, everybody's in... And this is Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby. Um, okay, okay. This next one's a slight palate cleanser. Uh, it's a little dark, but hopefully you can see. Um, number 19, name the film seen here. What film are we looking at? Oh, no, you haven't. I know you haven't. I've talked about it, though. So. You know what I just thought of, though? It's your movie that my brothers took me to see, and I never forgave them. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, Charles John. Yeah, I love this film. I love this film, and it's, it's such a satirical take on the whole genre, just like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Uh, this one's less campy. Uh, then Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, but uh, certainly a very good take on the genre. Uh, everybody's in. Correct answer here is Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods. Rich, I don't know any of your answers. What are your answers? Is it Cinderella 2 Dreams Come True? Forgetting Sarah Marshall? I'm sure I liked him. I just haven't mentioned him. All right, so uh, I will warn you. The next, the next picture is the only one that's kind of creepy, and it's just weird more than scary. It's not gory. Um, I just watched this film the other day, so I threw it in. Uh, it's a classic. Here we go. Number twenty. Name this horror film from the scream shot. Scream shot. Yeah, I meant <laughs> screenshot. Name this horror film from oh, the screen shot. I don't care for this. Yeah. This photo. Yeah. Look away. You watch this without me. 
I did watch this without you. Janessa is unlikely to sleep tonight. I'm sorry. Some people get this scared when we do the boy bands round. It's weird. Aww. Just kidding. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Uh, somebody said, uh, is she good? <laughs> uh, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. No, Lindsay's just out there looking up Disney sequels. That's what Lindsay's Googling, Disney sequels. I love it. Uh, Parenthood, <laughs> Lost Boys, Omen 2. Uh, no, this is Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Uh, certainly a low production film, but with a giant following. Uh, this gave us Ash. Bruce Campbell went huge big over this. So Evil Dead, Evil Dead, Evil Dead. Question 21, final one. This one not as scary. What is the name of this horror film? This looks like yeah. Peter mm -hmm. from What We Do in the Shadows. He is, he's pretty scary though. His face is pretty Yeah. Lindsay does not like jokes about boy bands. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Janessa <laughs> disagrees with the not as scary comment. Yeah. Pietier. Yes, Olivia. Tragic sunlight accident. <laughs> I love I love that the most suspenseful moment in that movie for me, and it was I don't think it was meant to be, but when um, Taka does the hypnotizing, he's like, I've hypnotized the police, but I'm not so good at hypnotizing, so it could wear off at any moment. And for the rest of that scene, You're I was like, like <gasps> <gasps> and then it never, they were fine. Oh, oh no. Yeah. I mean, it does look really... It looks like, like him, but this scene is not. I think uh, Peter's character was based on this character, who was based off of another character that they ripped off and gave a new name so that they wouldn't have to pay and they couldn't get sued. This is Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Cat with Vladislav's face. Yeah, that was a quick little turnaround joke. Like, yeah. he used to be so good at transforming, but now he just can't get the faces right. <laughs> and then, like, five minutes oh later. <laughs> oh, God. All right, that's it for this round. Y'all made it through. Good job. Uh, nothing clever. Just vote. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In first. I just, the I dream being. What? Someone put Borat 2 Rudy scene. Oh, Borat 2 Rudy scene. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. That is funny. Vampires don't do dishes. We haven't seen the TV. Oh, Rich, that was you. I loved it. Uh, we haven't. Hey, Rich. We haven't seen the TV show yet. We just watched the movie so that we could watch the TV show. Shirtless Dave turned in his ballot today. Atta boy. Yay! Did we got. You wear a shirt when you turn in his ballot. <laughs> Oh, see, Chris did well. TV show's so good. All right, we'll do it. When you are fighting a victim in the house, could you please put down newspapers or something? I love it. Again, the, the jokes, like, five minutes later, he has the girl on the couch, and you see him putting towels and newspaper down. It, like, <laughs> part of me was like... Oh, oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. All right. We have 10 questions left, and these are just random questions. I mean, they're still Halloween-themed, um, but they're no longer part of mini bonus rounds. They're worth 300 points apiece, uh, and it's a close. It's a very, very, very close game right now. Um, first through, you know, what, down to 13th place is less than 200 points apart, so that's one question. Could change everything from first to 13th. Um, and then everybody else, not too far behind. Here we go. Uh, keep it up. Keep it fair. Don't Google. Type the answers in. Question number 22. Published in 1976, what was Anne Rice's debut novel? She's released a couple now. Published in 1976, what was Anne Rice's debut novel? Hi, 
really like twitchy fates. Kills all the birds. All right, everybody's in, everybody's in. Uh, it's not Dark Shadows, not Microwave Cookery for one, not Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, not True Blood, not Beetlejuice. It was Interview with a Vampire. Interview with a Vampire. Uh, Anne Rice is Anne Rand as <laughs> Atlas Shrugged. Yeah, that would have been confusing. Uh, back then, 16, it was a very hard 16. Uh, question 23. Which actor played? This, I tried to do a nice gif of Freddy Krueger instead of a scary one. Oh, he does look like Sean Penn. Oh, he does look like Sean Penn. Oh, thank you. I was nervous to say that. No, 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 no. The nose and the, the smile. Yeah, especially. Yeah, yeah. Not so much the eyes, but the nose and the smile for sure. Do you know y'all need a little wind here? Two All right, everybody's in. Somebody, a couple people only knew the first name. It wasn't Wes Craven, not Michael Myers, Jackie Earl Haley, uh, Troy McClure. I'm Troy McClure. Uh, not Tom Hanks, Vincent Price, Donald Trump, Bob Dole. Uh, the correct answer is Robert England. Robert England. Good job, playing trivia. That's a pretty high number. Yeah, Lindsay, feel free to show up and spam it with Disney. I'm here for it. Yeah. Bring some levity. All right, question 24. What is the name, the title of the annual Halloween themed episode of The Simpsons? Oh, good question. Thank you. What is the title of the annual Halloween themed episode of The Simpsons? perspective i find these episodes mm -hmm. scary i did when i was younger um i for sure come, some of them very scary my threshold is definitely improved but like still like never i'll never watch a slash movie ever that's fair ever. all right everybody's in as long as you gave me something close to tree house of horror tree house of horror uh, so Gene and I have been watching a lot of Halloween films, if you will. Um, and to give you an example of where we were at, yesterday we watched The Nightmare Before Christmas, and today we watched Halloween Town. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're not really high on the scary scale. Uh, we watched What We Do in the Shadows. That's about as scary. We watched The Others. Oh, we did watch The Others. That was that was scary. We watched Bly Manor. Ooh, yeah. Of Haunting of Hill House, Haunting of Bly Manor. So, like creepy ghosty stuff. Yeah. I've been watching more horror movies on my own. But, uh, yeah, we did Nightmare Before Christmas and Halloween Town. Uh, I watched The New Witches. Oh, yeah, and The Roald Doll, right? Is it good? It's fun. It's amazing. Uh, question 25. A boy discovers an incredible and gruesome world of monsters under his bed. In which 1989 cult classic film starring Fred Savage and Howie Mandel? What is the name of that film from 1989 in which a boy discovers an incredible and gruesome world of monsters under his bed? I watch the news. That's the scariest thing on TV right now, Sarah. Like this one about the air conditioning. I enjoyed the guess of Homer Ween. That's, yeah, that's a good guess. Uh, Chris, for like four years of my life, this was my favorite film. I could have, I could have just quoted it nonstop. I loved I this film. This is one of those that I, I still love it, um, but it's one of those that like makes me hate the internet. Cause uh, what is it? Oh, actually, it's not as bad as I remember. Forty-four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Six point one out of ten. Forty. 
Oh, yeah, and that's yeah. Not as bad. Yeah, no, it's not that. Well, what did we look up the other day that had? Oh, Biodome. Oh, so, I like. Yeah, Biodome was another of my favorite films as a preteen, and on Rotten Tomatoes it has a four percent and a one percent on Metacritic. But I'll watch it every day. I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, uh, the correct answer here is Little Monsters. You can't really listen to critics so No, you just have to like what you like. Little We're Monsters. What? We're pretty easily entertained. Oh, we're very making a filter. Free mahi mahi, free mahi mahi. Yeah, I loved this, film. but there were some scary parts in this film too. Really? Yeah, when uh, Howie Mandel's hand became a dog and ate the homework. Have you seen it or no? I have not. Oh, you haven't seen it. No. We'll have to watch it. Uh, two, yeah, two people said don't look under the. Actually, oh, three I people said don't look, look under, under the bed. bed. Yeah, that's a good guess for this. Yeah. Uh, but it was little monsters. All right, one last look at the standings. Nothing clever. Just vote. Oh, MJ, in first still. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. I like the mini game Jen and Lindsay have going. I know. Are you okay? You got a hair in your mouth? Yeah, probably, but... Sassy Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy Lindsay. Middleton Lens, how'd you do? Did you win? I hope you won. We played some trivia on that episode there, Darius. Yeah. We have played trivia in Florida. In Orlando. Right? In Orlando. At um, the Friendly Confines, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the name of it? The Cubs Bar? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Yeah, we played, uh, we played office. office trivia there when we were in Florida. All right. Six questions left. Number 26. Which actor, star of Stand By Me in My Own Private Idaho, tragically died of a drug overdose on October 31st, which is Halloween, 1993? I know. I don't like asking these questions, but, but there's only... With the new baby. Yeah, I know. New baby named after him. There's only so many questions about Halloween specifically without just asking a whole bunch of scary movie questions, which I don't want to do. You could say, what are all the spices that are included in <laughs> uh, Middleton Lens, is that Bill? Does Bill do the Friendly Confines trivia? Is that his name? Oh, or it's pretty good. Bill does that trivia. Yeah, I, um, I started following them after we went down there, and I I've seen some of Bill's streams on Facebook. Seems like a nice guy. Uh, everybody's in. It's surprisingly not Liza Minnelli. Um, it's not Corey Haim. He passed away, but much later. The correct answer is River Phoenix. River Phoenix. He is so dry. Yeah. So definitely different personalities. Uh, but the trivia seems fun. Oh, Bill is who we saw? Yeah. No, no. Bill, I think, owns the company. Oh, okay. Um, he hosts the stuff online. We had a younger host. Remember, I love the guy. I told him, to I, I gave him my card, and I said if he moves to Illinois, I'll give him a job up here. Um, but I don't think he moved up here. That was fun. Yeah, that was a good time. I liked it there. All right, question. Oh, that's a social. Cheers. Question 27. What was the name of the 1995 Mel Brooks comedy starring Leslie Nielsen that took a lighter approach to the story of Count Dracula. Looking for the name of a film. It was a Mel Brooks comedy from 1995. I thought you meant River Phoenix was dry. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. That's a little like uh, this one. Yeah. Um, was your trivia, was it general knowledge that you played tonight with Bill? Was it general knowledge trivia or was it a theme? Was this a popular movie? Dave knew it right away. Uh, I think if 
if you like this type of movie, oh. you probably know all of these. Yeah. All the Mel Brooks sure. movies, all the Leslie Nielsen Rich. movies. Rich, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's campy, right? It's very campy. It's a Leslie Nielsen film. And I, I'm... Oh, it beat Biodome. It's got 11% on oh. Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. But, but, 11% on Rotten Tomatoes, but a 4.5 out of 5 on Walmart.com. Walmart. Because <laughs> when I want a trusted review, I look to Walmart.com. Uh, um, but no, 91% of uh, Google users like this movie. Um, so. I, you like what you like. And yeah. You should. Unless it hurts other people. But. All right. Agreed. Everybody's in. Ooh, lots of good guesses here. <laughs> oh my God. Crystal. They have the dollar bin. You find some gems in it. Yeah, no, no, nothing against Walmart. I just don't know if I'm trusting the reviews on Walmart.com for movies. Biodome was better than this movie. Uh, we didn't play with Bill tonight. We played Puzzles Entertainment. Oh, you just gave me the name of your mistress. Yes, that is what just happened. Now I'm going to look her up. Uh, not Love at First Bite, Dark Shadows, Once Bitten Teeth, Shrek After After, Blackula, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, another good one. We're men. Women and tides. The correct answer is Dracula dead and loving it. Dracula dead and loving it. Just that title. Wait till we see the stuff. Okay. Question 28. Beatles trivia. Because it happened on Halloween Day in 1969, the Beatles released what single? Their first A-side ever released by the band that was written by George Harrison. What is the name of the song? Released on October 31st, 1969. First A-side ever released by the band that was written by George Harrison. <laughs> Rich Hansen, you do have solid answers tonight. No, teeth. I've never seen any of it. I won't. <laughs> There's one I won't watch. It's kind of like when we were watching the Lorraine and Bob documentary, you decided you could do a show. Oh my God! No, no, no. All right, let's see what we thought. Lots of different guesses here. Uh, it's not get back. It's not here comes the sun. He did write that. Um, not Helter Skelter. While my guitar gently weeps, weeps, he did write that. It's not that. It is something. Something with that fun little lick of an opening. Something. Good job. Five of you got that. Tough question so far tonight. All right. Question 29. Uh, the 1999 Sleepy... Uh, the 1999 Hit... Sleepy Hollow was another in a long line of collaborations between Tim Burton and Johnny Depp, but Tim Burton didn't create the story. Who was the author of the original legend of Sleepy Hollow? Which famous author originally wrote the legend of Sleepy Hollow? Uh, 1820. 1820 it was originally released. I usually try to include that. They have a Cosmo. Oh, it's a cute name for a dog. Becky, almost five times as many people knew Dracula dead and loving it than something. Yikes. Yes. New friends we can travel to Orlando with. We can go. Does um, Funky Buddha still do a brewery fest? I mean, probably not this year. Not this year. But if or they do. January anyway. I need to smoke a cigar and dance. Um, uh, uh, red light, red light. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. Ichabod Crane. Herbie Hancock. Nope. Not Rip Van Winkle. Van Winkle, J.R.R. Tolkien. Nope. Not Hawthorne. Uh, it was Washington Irving. If you wrote something close, that's okay. Washington Irving. Jen, um, I did not listen to any Beatles growing up. 
my parents didn't dislike them, but they didn't listen to them. And I never really got into it until legitimately, like February. And now I'm annoyingly a Beatles fan. Annoyingly into the Beatles. Question 30. It's annoying to me. Wow. <laughs> William Henry Pratt, an actor best remembered for his portrayal of Frankenstein's monster in the 1931 film was better known by what stage name? He was born William Henry Pratt, but he was known better as what name, as an actor? There's still time. Yes, Jen, there's still plenty of time. Whenever we can have people over again, we can have you over and listen to some Beatles on vinyl and yeah. drink the cocktails that are suggested in the Vinyls and Cocktail book. Absolutely. Yes, there's plenty of time. Lots of ways to spell this. <laughs> uh, that's a mistake. Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff. Richard Mulligan. Best of both worlds. February of 2020. Yeah, 10 years ago. February of 2020. All right, final question, final question, final question. What Norwegian painter and printmaker created the famous work, The Scream, in 1893? I said his name earlier by mistake. What Norwegian painter and printmaker created the famous work, The Scream, in 1893? That's what led to the ghost face answer. That's what the ghost face mask is designed after this guy here. Yeah, I spoiled it. Spoiler alert. Gina and I just recently watched Hard Day's Night. Yes. It's my, my grandpa. My grandfather. My granddad. Wu Tang was super into Norwegian art. He's very clean. Yes, Steph. <laughs> He's very clean. All right, everybody's in. Some of you gave me... A very phonetic spelling, and that is okay. Uh, the correct answer is Edvard Munch. Edvard Munch. Edward Munch. As we say here in America, Edward Munch. Oh <laughs> I'll stop at Jesus' request. Uh, but it doesn't matter. 76% of you got it right. 76% of you, 25 people got it right. Great job, great job, great job. All right, that is it for the questions. That is it for the answers. That's it. For trivia tonight, all we have left to do is look at the standings. And let me remind you that we do have trivia coming up Friday at 9 p.m. If you're into scary movies, if that's your thing, we have horror film trivia at 9 o'clock. Uh, other than that, we will have a lot of fun trivia next week, too. Uh, <laughs> uh, but thank you all so much for being here tonight. Thank you to those of you that sent donations. If I didn't see one come through... Um, Thank you. Jen's turnout, thank you for the donation. I just saw that. Uh, I haven't forgotten. We do have some Jurassic Park trivia coming up soon. Um, that's that's an oft-requested topic, uh, and I know you've mentioned it, so we will do some Jurassic Park trivia uh, in the near future. But uh, thank you for the donation tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, that's it for trivia. All we have left to do, I know I've been saying that for a while, but I'm just trying to let you know I haven't forgotten. It. It's, it's on the docket. All right. Here we go, final standings. If you're in first, second, or third, you're gonna win some Taco Bucks. Let's see if I already know who it is. Uh, in first, nothing clever, just freaking vote. Oh my God, in second, foolish mortals. In third, I'm gonna thaw me out. If you are in first, second, or third, do me a huge favor. Just throw your loyalty number uh, and the place that you got in the chat real quick so I can give you some points. Okay, Chris, you're number two. I got your loyalty number, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, let me just add this so I don't forget right now. 1028. So there's... Uh, uh, first, Jess. 590. Just, 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 just. On your own, too, for some of it, it sounded like. Uh, and then Steph was third. All right. 
All right, that's it for trivia tonight. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for the support. Thank you for those of you that donated. Uh, don't miss horror movie trivia on Friday. And then next week, we'll have a whole bunch of general knowledge trivia. And we'll do a special theme trivia next week. Probably a Zoom trivia next week uh, for those of you that are into that kind of thing. So keep an eye out on Facebook. And if you haven't already joined the Bag of Tricks online community, we have a lot of fun. And be safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And fucking vote. Go vote right now. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.